Hi Libra, this is your reading for the 21st to the 27th of November 2022 and welcome back. Uh, there is a, a few things have changed. I don't know whether you're, uh, you have watched the introduction to the membership on the channel, but there will be an extension on this reading for paid members only. You can perhaps, would you would like to join and see um, what you can get? Then have a look at the join button below this video next door to the subscribe button. I've decided designed my own MEJOs for that you can use in the chat and your reactions and also badges. For every month that you are a member you get a new badge. There is a little video on it and what you get. You also get perks. The first level, I'm only doing one level at the moment but if it is a, um, sought after, I will be doing a next level. There will be membership um, lives and you'll get a reading from me in those lives. Um, and also, of course, the extensions every week and on the yearlies. The English and uh, the extensions will be done in English. That said, let's go to your reading. Oh, by the way, I still care and love all my cyber angels new or old and also of course my paid memberships people you come in with the ring and it's coming out like hot buns uh, going over the counter today because this is already the third time it has come out and also the ring means that you could be getting engaged or getting married or partnering up in business the ring signifies a marriage, but if you go into partnership, that is a form of marriage, but a business marriage. You've also got number 25. Number 25 becomes a seven, and so luck is on your side. But you also have the ace of clubs. The clubs means, for those that don't know, um, wands. So you could be meeting or dealing or partnering up with a fire sign, it is Aries, Leo or Sagittarius and we are already a couple of days in Sagittarius. So perhaps it could be the energy. Remember, time is man-made. That said, we have other cards here and these are the tea leaf fortune cards. And you've got the cat. Now, he's very Persian. Beautiful. A two-faced friend could be um, around you today or this week so be careful of deceivement or um, a, 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 friend that, a friend that wears a mask be careful there are things that you don't know so be aware be as clever as a cat okay you've got the moon the moon means unseen things like the dark side of the moon you could be keeping secrets from people, but I believe with the card above, the cat, a two-faced person, is keeping a secret from you. So be careful. Forewarned is forearmed. Also, the moon is a spotlight. So you are in the spotlight. You're being noticed. You're being seen. You could be getting recognition. And this person that is two-faced could be, for example, very jealous on you because you're getting recognized and you're popular or you're getting recognized by your employer and getting a promotion or a wage rise. Something that you don't know yet. But I believe it's going to be a good thing that's coming to you. You've also got the Eight of Cups. You want excitement, you want adventure, as you've got the Eight of Hearts. That's the Cups. So definitely um, you want a new horizon. You are looking out to the horizon in a metaphorical uh, sense looking for new things what you can do or take on perhaps a change of career or a change of a job or a change of a study also a change of environment perhaps also um, and they could be two-faced because they don't want to lose you but be careful also you could be very sensitive at the moment because this week we will have the new moon or is it the full moon I always get them those twisted whether the new moon is I think the new moon is at the end of the month 
and the full moon as the beginning of the month. So definitely you could be moon sensitive, you could be more intuitive, you could be more um, sensual or nurturing um, or passionate or loving as that is what the water signs represent. Also the moon, but I don't do the signs in the Lenaman, but I've got a feeling there could be a Cancer, a Pisces or a Scorpio around you or prominently in your life. We've also got the owl, use your wisdom, be wise, okay, and have a bird's eye view, because the owl, you've got three owls here from one, from another deck and two in the other. Definitely um, keep a bird's eye view. The owl has a very sharp sight. So get insight on things that you don't know. So do the research. You're on the right path to your goal or wish. Because the moon is shining light on your path. But use your wisdom. Keep stum or quiet if you don't know what stum is until the right time and the right place and if you can trust that person somebody is gossiping about you okay because you've got the birds that means gossip but you might also hear something through the grapevine somebody's telling me in my ear also um, somebody could leave the group or leave the coop the coop is a little house the chicken house so I had rhymes and that's how I learned my Lenamum by making up rhymes or cliches or sayings myself. And I love that saying, somebody could leave the group or leave the coop. Be careful of crowds, you could be also travelling, you could be receiving news. Also um, be careful of groups. Uh, what else? You could be travelling, flying off somewhere. Um, also, um, I, I don't know, I'm getting messages and um, you could be branching out into a different area of career. Could that be it? I don't know. Um, but that's what I'm hearing. You might be going to start a study or seeking a knowledge or doing spur work, uh, research. I mean, spur is Dutch, um, but doing research. To be able to branch out to get wiser that is the feeling that I'm getting from these two cards also one and two means three and three is creativity and productivity so you might also be more productive at this moment in gaining knowledge or doing something creative the Sun is shining on you so definitely with these positive cards you don't have to worry too much about that gossip monger or the two-faced person. Happiness and well-being. Well, we all know that the sun, when it shines on you, you've got the moon and the sun, so clarity will come to you. Tra and you will get transparency uh, who this person could be. That could be the gossip. So before you believe the gossip, check it out. Confront that person and just ask, have you been talking about me? In what manner, may I ask? Because there is also love in the air. We've got the heart. The heart means partnering up or finding a new love or something that you love to do, a passion, a hobby or a passion with a person. But this could also mean that you've lost your heart to something or someone. Means that you could be getting married because the ring is here. You've also got number 24, which is 6, so you're more than halfway um, in a situation or finding, or t finding um, the answer to an issue or a question. You are definitely in balance. You've also got the 7 of diamonds. I forgot about that, excuse me. The 7 of diamonds is the 7 of pentacles. What you sow, you shall reap, but be patient. Don't be impatient because it takes a seed a while to become a plant. Also, uh, if you nurture your projects or whatever you're busy with, it will come out. That could be your passion, nurturing a new project. 
also you've got the jack of hearts the jack or the page of cups you could be meeting or dealing prominently with a pisces like i said the moon is also represented by pisces and cancer and scorpio but prominently um, the page is pisces it could be a younger person it could be about a child it could be um it could come from a child the news they might say something and boom the light switch goes on you knew it all along but this child the way they said it has confirmed your idea beautiful also we have the frying pan now i'm hearing somebody saying don't jump into the frying uh, from the fire fi frying pan into the fire so don't get don't get involved with anybody or get married on the rebound this is a prominent warning an important warning also it says trouble and accusations so be careful like i said if you hear gossip that somebody's talking about you or is wearing a mask confront them but be careful because it could cause don't do any th um, accusations okay find it out for yourself because if it is a true friendship then somebody else could be jealous of that friendship or partnership and might want to try to put a wedge between you and that person always be careful of gossip mongers now you've also got the six of clubs which is the six of wands so you will have victory you will have the recognition well with the moon and the sun definitely because you're in the spotlight that could also cause um, accusations or jealousy but it's your own doing because you know that you hold the key to your life's force and your life's path that means making your own decisions and choices i believe that you do have faith in yourself although you have the cross usually i say have faith in yourself believe in yourself and you could be standing on a crossroads and making choices and decisions but i think you will be doing the right decision as you have the six of wands and that is victory the champion you're definitely being seen there might even be choice of partners so be careful also you could be moving home or m moving in together somewhere or buying something with somebody a house and moving in also you could be going on holiday you could be getting engaged getting married confirmation on the ring and the heart wow you could be starting a family or expanding the family this can be with a baby but this can also be with a, a, a pet a household animal that said i think you have a beautiful reading and also um, if you would like to see the extended then please join the channel thank you for your support and view and your thumbs up take care have a beautiful week bye bye